All right, good day. This is George from TurboJudgeFX.com. Once again, I'm going to do a quick analysis on card again, as I promised. So it's going to be a very quick one. So this is the monthly chart. So let me zoom it up. So here you can see for the last two months, we have a bearish candle. So that automatically tells you that the Fed has been on the downtrend. This is January, February, and this is March. Generally, it has been going down from here to here. It's a downtrend. So that's on the monthly chart. So you don't necessarily need to look into many candles. The last two candles are very okay for you. So you can see the descending price is going down, up, down, up. So I can probably um, make use of um, the channel to um, get all the tops of the higher lows. So that's a trend. I'll give you notes for trend. So you can check that out. This is a channel. This tool is called the channel. So you see, I, I try to get the tops so one, two, three. One, two, three. So you can see price going up, um, down, up, down, up, down. What next? So that's what we're looking at. So I'm gonna go to uh, the next time frame, which is the weekly. So I'm giving you a pure price action analysis your price action analysis at this point so um let me go back to the monthly so i can get rid of um the background of this channel sorry it's taking time to load i'm downloading something that's up to one gig so i think it's gonna be hanging so there is settings and then take away the background of the channel so back to the weekly so just follow up, it's gonna be a quick one. So now, here is the weekly chart and then when you look critically, this is last week, this is just the week that closed. The weekly close is giving us a, a doji, which is a very good signal to trade, a very good one. Then last, I was giving us a strong um, pin bar, a bullish pin bar, you can see the length of the week, uh, very, very lengthy. The week is up to five, 73 to 76, so it's over 350 pips. So it's an exhaustion. So the other week, the same thing, or you can see that uh, the opening of the month in the month of March, we had a gap, and um, which showed us that the price is going to possibly descend. So from the gap, you could see that price dropped up to 700 pips. But now price is coming back and forth. So, but let's focus here. So these three candles, bullish candles. So now, um, if we have this exhaustion from here, um, let me say, let me capture the bottom of this channel because the bottom of the channel, let me make it up. Um, a rectangle, or rectangle, just to capture um, the bottom of this channel. That's the bottom of this channel. Okay. So um, that's fine. And now, 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 um, a week before this week, we we'll have this um, strong pin bar. So I'm going to check the level at which price has possibly took a buy and price is ranging. So I'm going to measure the level of the retracement backwards before price can continue to move up. This is our bullish bias. Remember, we have the bearish bias. I showed a little of it in the other clip, which I'm going to show you here. But let's work on the um, buy bias. I told you that the car JPY has double bias. There's a double bias. But once the market open, we see the direction of the price. At most Monday close, we're going to take the white right position. So now, uh, measuring um, this candle, whenever I have a strong week, this is a higher time frame, weekly, a very um, long week this way. The, the buyers are coming down, they're exhausted, and price is running back. So here we're going to see a retracement at probably 38.2% of the Fibonacci. So let me get the Fibonacci too. Um, we have the Fibonacci, the Fibonacci too. Fib, 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 fib. Is it the fee? So since this is a buy, it's a bullish market, I'm going to take from up. So Oh, we have price coming down. 
So, so let's get um, rid of some level of the Fibonacci that we are not going to need. We need the um, 618, 0 0.5, 0 0.2, 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 over 38 and retrace down back to 0 0.5 level um, before going up. So, okay, let me get rid of some of the levels. I know that some of us may not be actually be properly clarified on how to use the Fibonacci too, but I will be taught. So, okay, I think I need it. Let's start here. And, um, the theme. Okay, okay, let me use um, this too. Okay, so, right now we are. So this is the level of the FIB. So we're expecting price to retrace to this zone, bounce and move up. So that actually happened, you know. I'm showing you what you would have traded last week. So if you had something like this, maybe you would have been in the buy of uh, card and you have made like 200 or 200 pips. So, but we have price showing the doji. So the bulls were not able to make it so that strong. So having a doji. So we are clearly looking at what is going to happen once the market opens. So, so at this very point, this is the daily time frame. So on the daily time frame, you already have a gap in the daily time frame. And um, that is where you start seeing the sell bias. Start seeing the sell continuation. So I'm going to hook up here. I'm going to hook this line here, which is um, for the gap. So now, at this particular level here, okay, I think I'm going to extend the feed level, extend it. So now, we're having uh, some level of range in here. There's a level of range in here. There's a range, what is a big range on uh, 73 to 78? That's a range of like 500 pips. So <coughs> clearly, um, when the market opens, you can see some level of retracement. As far as price doesn't cross here, all these are sales, so you can take advantage of the 378 to, to these. And by now that some of us may not be able to um, trade it. So, but what happens is that once market um, opens, I will do a review again, and I will come back to finish it up. When I execute a trade, I will also um, upload the video. But what you want, what you have to just know that above this 78.9, since once price bounces higher, we are buying aggressively. So we're expecting the market to open with a gap. That's the beauty. So once the market opens with a gap, we are buying aggressively. Opens with a gap to the upside. But if that doesn't happen, if the gap to the downside, we keep selling. So, but I'm going to show you how to thread this range once the market open. Have a lovely day. And um, bye bye. I think I'm going to show you the 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 the, the 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 bullish bias and the bearish bias. So I used just the candlesticks. I used the Fibonacci to dictate the level of retracement for the bulls, and this is market cap. Simple. Thank you. No indicator. Nothing. So I also let her give you another tip to completely analyze this pair for this week. Thank you. I love you. Have a grateful moment. Bye-bye.